Okay, so hopefully that's a good enough view of the infotainment system. Now what you might notice straight away is that we're actually looking at a slightly different CarPlay to what we're used to. Um, and the reason for this is that my phone now has uh, iOS 13 on it. Um, so in addition to the, uh, the new layout for Apple Maps, uh, we've also got uh, the ability to have light mode, um, which does toggle with the, the lights of the car. Um, so it is reasonably smart about that. Um, if you prefer to keep dark mode on, there's a settings thing where you can actually go to the appearance and set it to always use dark mode, which is kind of handy. And that's just always in um, the color scheme that you're used to. Um, I'm enjoying having it switch at the moment. Um, the music app isn't the clearest in day uh, in light mode. Um, I don't know if that's just a preference thing and I'm not used to it yet, but one thing you'll notice is when we're at the home screen, the home icon changes to this uh, square and three lines. If we tap that, it actually takes us to the new uh, multitask view. Now, the layout's not quite right. You can see some of these items are overlapping. Um, obviously, it's still a beta. Well, it's the very first beta. Um, so there's yeah, a lot of room for Apple to improve how this works. But nonetheless, it's, um, it's definitely interesting to see. So if I turn the volume down, uh, I can play music, but obviously, you know, I can't really put that on YouTube because I'll get a copyright strike. Uh, but if you tap anywhere there, it plays, uh, pauses, or skip. Uh, new to this is the calendar. Uh, and you can see here, I've got an event for fully charged live. If you'd set an address on your calendar items, um, it will uh, actually navigate straight there. Um, what you can also do is if you go to, uh, if we go to maps, uh, we can see that's gotten confusing. It's going to dark point. There we go. Right. So the whole layout for the maps app has changed quite considerably. You've got to have favorite items, which you can add your own favorites. Um, you can obviously search, which gives you a, a search thing, which is laid out differently from before. Um, and also, if you're using voice, it doesn't take over the whole screen. You can still kind of see what's going on there without it totally taking over. Where would you like over. to go? Um, so we can talk here, and it'll probably get confused because I'm just talking to you guys rather than to Siri. But we'll see what happens. Where would you like to go? Yeah. So anyway, we'll cancel that for now. Uh, you can also bring up a keyboard if you prefer typing things in, just as you always have done. Uh, it also gives you suggestions for various kind of points of interest. So if you want to find the nearest supermarket, uh, it will suggest some to you uh, and show you previews on the map. Uh, as you page through these, the highlights will move around based on what's on the screen right now, um, which is kind of interesting. Um, well, can we also do if you go to destinations you can actually set groups of destinations so if i was to for example uh let's see if i go to collections here um i created a collection for fully charged live um now what i could do is put all of my stops for this journey into there. Now i ended up not stopping at tibshi off but um what i could have done is put all my stops in here um, although you can't have multiple waypoints on an Apple Maps journey, you could literally just manually do it with a collection, figure it out all at home, and then when you're out on the road, you just literally tap. You're not having to figure out, okay, is this the right point of interest on, on the phone or on, on CarPlay? You know because you've set it all up at home um, or wherever, you know. So that, that's quite a nice, quite a nice feature. Um, the other nice feature is if I... Uh, Tear up. Let's go to YouTube shelf or we'll pretend we're going to tip shelf. Starting route. So while you're on a journey, Head south on Coachway Road, then turn right onto Newport Road. So while you're on a journey, you've got this new option down here to share your ETA, and what that will do is it will text uh, whoever you pick. Um, what time you're due to arrive. So if I picked someone here, it would text them and say uh, that I'm due to arrive at uh, that destination at 2029. Now, if I get caught in traffic and that gets delayed, it'll actually send update text to that person. So let's say I get delayed by 15 minutes. I'll say, okay, um, quick update for you. I'm now coming at, uh, I should now get there about 2045. It's actually a really nice feature. Glimpse is, has been kind of my preferred way of doing things like this, but for people who, you know, if I'm trying to share updates with someone who's not interested in Glimpse, this is a nice way of doing it. Um, you can also end your route or search for other points of interest while, while you're on your journey uh, and kind of pick somewhere else from that, that menu. Uh, in this instance, I'm just going to end the route. 
the music app has had a bit of a revamp uh, again you know it, it toggles based on light or dark mode um it's it's quite nice um if i go back to the list you can actually see that it it, it pulls in album art now um so you can actually see what you're what you're looking at so if i go to recently added um it's a kind of a much more visual experience of what's going on here um if i was to go down to playlists and uh, let's pick that playlist um, and you can kind of it, it it just feels like you can see what's going on a bit better if i go to for example for you um i used a favorites mix on apple music quite a lot um so yeah, i can go down to kind of personalized mixes i can see those but what i can also do is i can just tap straight on favorites mix um and it'll launch directly into that so again i'm not going to play that here because uh, obviously i don't want to get a copyright strike but you can launch kind of straight into stuff um, you can also kind of browse new releases um, or just browse in general a little bit better um, now you can see it is beta we are getting some kind of overlap that I that icon is kind of hidden behind the timestamp and things like that but you know it's beta one we'll give apple some uh, some room to improve this now obviously these screens these layouts are totally subject to change we've seen in previous versions of ios that what happens in the first beta gets tweaked and refined as the betas go on so we probably won't see it looking exactly like this down the line um but nonetheless it's uh it's good to see that this is actually becoming a more refined experience because it it all it was good before better than the car's built-in system but it always felt a bit clunky the podcasts app has also been updated similar to the uh to the music app and i believe certain other apps and third parties will be able to kind of adopt this look and feel as well as time goes on messages as well has also been uh refined and even if i just pull up siri Siri, what time is it? It's 18.56. So no matter what you're doing, uh, it doesn't really cover the screen, which is really good. If, if you're trying to ask a question, maybe you're trying to set a reminder and you're looking at the map, you don't want the map to vanish. Uh, and now it doesn't, which is really good. Anyway, so yeah, that's a, a brief look at uh, CarPlay in the iOS 13 Beta 1. Uh, if you did like this video, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.